check this out. This is what you call early detection. Yesterday when I was busy doing the video where I popped the hole in the ground to show you what the cylinder mowers do, I noticed some trails. And those trails are often an indication. Let me show you here. I don't know if you can still see them. These kind of, they make like tracks in the soil and that's mole crickets. So I'm going to go through the process here, put some more soap into a bigger bucket and I'm going to go and leather this whole area to try and see if I can catch any more. If you can get the bigger ones out then there's obviously less chance of them reproducing. Look at that spawn of Satan they are. So I'd say it's safe to say that I have a small infestation here that hasn't started to cause any damage on the surface yet except for that little bit of a trail that I saw and that trail was maybe two or three lengths that were about 30 centimeters long and only because I had a video happening here yesterday did I pick them up and I thought well hold on let me just go back and check them now this morning and there I'm discovering them. If I leave these guys alone they really are the spawn of Satan. They will destroy everything quickly. This is early detection. My grass is not damaged. I'll probably be fine. So looking at it from a concentration point of view, I picked up the trails in that biggish patch over there. That's where I started. I went left and didn't find anything. Went right, started to find more. So I'm going to continue that direction and just see what else pops up. Try and keep it concentrated. The water must saturate deeply for mole crickets in particular. Well, this definitely teaches me for not treating preventatively. But at the same time, it teaches you to be aware of what's going on in your yard. Really be out there every day looking at things. And the better you have your lawn maintained, the easier you can see when funny things are starting to happen. All right, so I just put down my last soapy bucket. I don't think I'm going to do any more because no more are coming out the ground at this point in time. Just what's on that little white page over there. I'll show those to you in a second. So that, for me, it means... I caught it early, number one. I don't think that it's an infestation, uh, although there are varying sizes of the mole crickets, which is an indication that there may be an infestation coming. But I'm going to leave it alone because I had no physical damage on the top except for those one or two, and I'm talking it was a 30 centimeter by 30 centimeter area where I saw a couple of paths that were between 15 and 30 centimeters long. And that's it. So I'm going to leave it alone. Once again, we'll use this as an example. If whatever I've done here doesn't work out, you'll know about it, and then we'll learn how to correct it later on. But for now, I'm not gonna put down any pesticides. Ah, check this out. They were dead. At least you thought they were dead. And look at that little guy. Going for gold, he's got no scum. He's ready to tackle my yard once again. He's checking out all his buddies. Hey, are you alive? Are you alive? Are you dead? So this, this is an issue. If you leave them alone, even after the soap test, thinking that they're dead, they will cause you problems. And I found something interesting just now. I was busy looking for a few of them, and look at that. You see there. I actually just, <laughs> that was just something I picked up now. But what they do is they kind of come out the ground, but not fully like what these ones did. They just stick their head out, and then they try and catch a little breath. So you've got to go around and look for them because they're going to be they're going to be sneaky about things and you're going to miss a couple and they will just come back to haunt you. So I'm going to go and look for them. But definitely these guys, they're sneaky. They're very clever. They just stick their head out the ground and they, they stay there waiting. That bigger, that bigger guy over there, this one, was just sticking its head out the ground and I saw it and that's how I got a hold of it. Oh, the roadside looks like this is a bit of a problem. This is not even a square meter and there's probably about 10 that have come out of here. I think this is where it originated and I was lazy because it's this little roadside area that I just kind of mow whenever I feel like. And here I've got some big boys and little babies too. So this is a problem zone. More soap and water. Sheesh, look at this. Big guys, small guys, all farm out here. And they're still coming out in the dozens. I put some more soapy water just into the bucket to stop them from perhaps escaping. And there's a prime example of a sneaky guy. He's not dead, he's just sticking his head out the ground. He's not completely out the ground like the rest. You've got to go looking for them. So what you need to do is move the soap out the way. There's one. There's another. They hide in the soap and then you don't find them and you leave it alone thinking everything's alright. 
and then you've got them back on the ground again. So this guy here, you gotta get him out of there. So some of the slow recovery, still very quick, some of the slow recovery that I thought was happening because I'd done that bit of a stupid scalp uh, and I thought they were changing the season, it was just a little bit too late and 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 wasn't that. This grass grew back perfectly fine with a definite infestation of mole crickets. So sometimes they can be there, they're hiding out. I think the clue that you'll pick up, definitely, if you're on top of your lawn, is these little trails, these little tracks. They are definitely the thing that is the giveaway, which is why you don't want this dense, thick lawn, because you'll never find them. The next thing you know, you've got no roots and all your grass is dead. And we've got one or two beetles that might also be a problem for you at some stage. This is definitely an issue. Uh, although I'm not seeing much physical destruction, there is some destruction. But I'm kind of keeping it covered by keeping the grass in check, so the grass is outgrowing the issue. Which then is technically not an issue, I mean there's hardy dar food right there. So yeah, let's see. It's a little observation. The black beetles, they came out in just one patch, which was quite interesting. They all kind of came from the same area, nowhere else. Whereas the mole crickets, they infest, they take over a large area in one go. All right, that's the load that I pulled out. And leaving them in the soapy water, just that, that fine little slither of it was enough to kill them. But if you just flush them out and you left them on your grass, they would just revive all of them, even the nymphs, and they will go back into the ground and continue to cause you trouble. So you need to either kill them off entirely, pull them out the ground like what I've done now. And this process is going to be one you'll have to do it multiple times. So I'm not going to kill them off today using a poison, but in a couple of days I will perhaps consider it if I keep finding more and more coming out using soap tests. Remember the soap test is just supposed to be a test. You can't keep putting soapy dishwashing liquid over your lawn all the time. It eventually starts to smother it. It kind of... Uh, smears like a streaky oily gross stuff over the leaf and it causes damage enough of it will cause damage to soil life so it's just it's generally not a good idea it's enough to chase them out the ground you catch them you get rid of them or for other pests you identify what the issue is you find a way to resolve the issue i.e poison or pick them out of the ground whatever the case is going to be and then you get rid of them now certain insects like army worms that kind of thing i've found those guys not always, but they often die just with the soapy water going over the surface. But in all circumstances, it's just a way to identify the issue. It's not a way to resolve the issue. All right, let's look at these guys a little bit more closely. That's a little black beetle. In parts of the world other than Africa, they call that African black beetle. We just call them black lawn beetles. We've got the nymph stage of mole crickets and the adult stage of mole crickets. And they look disgusting, proper, gross, they softer feeling than what they look, they look hard, but they, they like a soft kind of fluffy feeling and just absolutely disgusting, gross, spawn of Satan these things are. Now what's interesting is these guys can really only be controlled in the method that I showed you earlier on, soap test and you've got to remove them manually. These little nymphs up to about this stage can be controlled with various insecticides. So it's been found that you can use sarpamethrin, imidacloprid, um, that type of product, Meridian, Karate Zion. Those guys will get rid of these and will control them very, very well, including the crickets. But crickets, you know, unless you've got a massive infestation, they're not that destructive on your lawn. Mole crickets are absolutely they can annihilate it. That being said, my lawn doesn't look that bad. It looks a bit worse than it had in the past. And I mean, even I discredited it, it is actually being an issue. And look at what I found. So if you didn't have your lawn in good shape, these guys would absolutely decimate it. So would these guys, but not so much these guys. So that's what a normal baby cricket looks like. Doesn't actually look as scary. And then let's just use this one here as the other example, just to show you another looking small cricket. There it is. All right, I'm gonna feed my soapy mole crickets to some frogs living around my swimming pool. But yeah, that's it. 
I'm gonna keep on top of it. I don't think I'm gonna apply an insecticide yet. I'm gonna try and tackle it using the soapy water method because I see so many adults. And remember, the various insecticides are really only controlling the nymphs. And there is a lot of control. It's best to use a preventative like Meridian if you can get your hands on it, then use it. It is a good idea for the sake of proper lawn maintenance. But I've managed to do just fine for now an entire season without using any insecticides. I think that's pretty good going and I'm going to continue that for as long as what I can. But <laughs> mole crickets, I've dubbed them the spawn of Satan because they really are. Army worms ain't got nothing on these guys. There is no insect that can destruct, cause destruction for long periods of time like mole crickets can to your lawn. So I may just bite that bullet and put down a poison. Anyway, if I do, you'll know about it. Please remember to like, subscribe, share this with your buddies. If you have any questions or queries, stick it in the comments or email me. Uh, jump onto backyardbushfelt.co.za and you'll be able to get a hold of me that way. Cheers.